Guys, in this video, we want to look at the timing of episiotomy. In the last video, we have covered uh, what episiotomy is, the definition, the objectives, why we do it. Then we have looked at the indications of episiotomy. Now we will look at the timing of episiotomy. So when will you do it? So basically, you will do it just prior to crowning. Okay, at least you should know that this is second stage of labor, right? That you know. When in second stage of labor, just prior to crowning. Why? Because at this time, there will be thinned perineum. Okay. And that too, during a contraction, you should do. Bulging thinned perineum during contraction just prior to crowning. Okay, so this is when you do it. So what is coming before crowning, you should know, right? Then only you will be able to say crowning is the next step. So in mechanism of labor video, you have already seen that crowning is here. Before crowning, you have internal rotation of the occiput, rotation of shoulders. Internal rotation, then only crowning. But crowning, does it refer to baby's head? If it refers to baby's head, which will not go back after contraction, what if it's a breech delivery? So what is the definition of crowning? What does your book say, guys? Does crowning refer to the presenting part? Okay. So you should be able to identify that there is going to be the crowning. And before that, you'll have to do the episiotomy. Okay. What will happen if you do before it? Look at this. This is where you do it. Okay. If it is your, you, you want to use forceps, etc. After the application of blades, which blades? The blades, those forceps will have some blades, right? Is it after the application of those blades, you will do the episiotomy? Okay. But if it is done before, if it is done early, what will happen? The blood loss will be more. Okay. If it is done late, then you will, it will be useless because there will be anyways lacerations of the perineal body. Right? There will be lacerations probably you can see or you may not see. So you will fail to protect the pelvic flow. Okay. If you do it late. So the very purpose of the episiotomy gets defeated if you do it late. So when will you do episiotomy? Episiotomy done in the second stage of labor just before the crowning. Second stage. Second stage of labor. Do you know what second stage of labor is? That is after the complete dilatation of the cervix to the delivery of the fetus. Very good. So that is the second stage of labor. Then you will, um, um, just prior to the crowning, you will give this episiotomy. Okay. You have known what will happen if you do before, what will happen after. Okay. This place basically what happens, there is a thinned perineum. So you will be cutting easily. Guys, did you understanding the, understand this timing of the episiotomy? So now uh, we have finished timing of episiotomy. episiotomy. Next video will continue with the advantages of episiotomy.